morning. I woke up about an hour ago and decided to film a day in the life because this is the first day before the new school year begins that I will be doing some school related stuff. So um, I have a professional development this morning that is on Google Meets and it's through Google Meets um, so we don't have to go in for it and it's three hours I decided to do that because even because I have Chromebooks in my classroom I'm one of the few K through two classes that have Chromebooks um, and so I should have been ut utilizing Google and Google classrooms more over the past few years but I haven't and there it's inevitable we're going to be teaching virtually some this year I'm sure so I'm going to do that and be professionally developed I am going to play with Caroline a little, you know, for your lunch, have to spend some time with her. I need to work on getting my um, newest resource for Teachers Pay Teachers up, and actually it's the first resource I've uploaded in like two years, um, but it's a back-to-school resource that I was making for myself anyway, so I figured why not upload it. Um, there'll be a video coming on that soon, and then Caroline has a two-and-a-half-hour dance or yeah, two and a half hour dance class this afternoon. So I thought after I drop her off, I, since they don't want students in the building yet, um, even teacher kids, they're just trying to keep things as clean as possible. I'm going to go work in my classroom this afternoon for a couple of hours. Wheeler is with my mom and stepdad helping him out. So, or helping them out, sorry. Um, so I um, will have a couple of hours to myself this afternoon to do that. Um, there is some weird lighting going on here. You can see the sun has been coming up in my windows there. <laughs> it's just weird. So I've been laying here for about an hour watching the news on my iPad. Can y'all leave it? There it goes. Oh, it's going to be hot today. Um, I don't have a TV in the bedroom. So when I wake up early, sometimes I'll put the news on our um, local weather channel app. So I'm going to get up, get dressed. Like I said, this was a last minute thought. I'm going to film this because there'll be some classroom stuff coming on. And I know others are getting ready for the back for back to school. Our teachers actually go back in a little over two weeks, students in a little over three weeks. Or no, a little less than two weeks for teachers. I don't know. But it, it's coming up soon. And I have done nothing, nothing. Usually by this time, I have my classroom set up. Um, but with the uncertainty of the school year, I haven't even started. So I need to go start cleaning. And I still don't know if we're, I'm teaching virtually. I volunteered to if they needed me to. We are going back in person. Um, but I, I don't know yet if he's going to want me to teach virtually. Oh my gosh, my hair is doing something weird here. Or um, if I am going to have a classroom full of in-class students. Um, we'll have to wait and see. It's all going to depend on what parents decide for their kids as far as who how many come back and how many are going to learn virtually all right so let's get i guess i need to get up because like i said it's like 701 now um and i have to be dressed and ready soon <laughs> here we go okay so i am well okay it was google meets ready and then I spilled breakfast, well, it's cottage cheese, all down my shirt. <sighs> so I guess I'm going to have to go change because I just can't. I, I, I just, I can't. So, yeah, no. But in the meantime, I was out of um, cold brew. So I am making coffee. Lots of coffee. Currently making one of my favorite go-to breakfasts right now. It's literally a cup of hash browns, and I just kind of cook them uh, with some spray. I don't cook them in butter oil. Um, I've got this is the culprit cottage cheese. It looks like it's very watery. I guess that was my problem. I'm gonna drain that, and I'll make an egg to go with this. High protein keeps me full. This has been my go-to breakfast lately. I'm gonna have a good breakfast before I start being professionally developed. All right, I am ready to eat. There's my breakfast. I decided to add a couple slices of tomato grown in my stepfather's um, buckets of tomatoes. Another story for another time. All right, so 
Um, I also had to get Caroline ready to eat, so I am ready for my Google training with my Chromebook. My trusty school spot, uh, offered hotspot since I don't get good internet access. I've got my calendar, I've got my notebook, I've got my coffee, and I've got more coffee ready over there. <laughs> All right. It's 8.33. I'm sitting here in very bad lighting, waiting on the link. I don't, oh, <laughs> and my internet connection stinks. Wonderful, wonderful internet connection here at the base of the mountain. Um, I updated the Chromebook and now it won't connect. Yes, I know my system has encountered a problem. So, anyway, haven't received the link to join yet anyway. So, hopefully I will soon. It took almost 20 minutes, but I'm in. I'm being professionally developed. Um, so, I'm working through very slowly, apparently. Uh, oh. I got a message saying my recording was uploaded successfully to my Google Drive, but I uh, keep getting messages on Google here that I'm not, that I am offline. Having to use a hotspot here at the base of the mountain doesn't bode well for virtual learning from home. Um, I have already learned a ton. We did not have to in our district do um, any kind of virtual learning back in the spring because of the limited internet access. Uh, so anything I did, I would record on uh, Class Dojo and upload it, send videos that way. So this has really been eye-opening to me. I'm gonna keep working through it. I'm working through it kind of slow because of my li limited internet access. Okay, so I am done with the three hours of professional development. It took me the entire three hours due to internet access. I am now just finished submitting the last assignment that they wanted us um, submitted for this and it is like I don't know almost noon um, Caroline's already come in here I'm hungry mom so I am going to there she is <laughs> I'm gonna make us some lunch and then see what else we need to get into today well it has been a busy afternoon and honestly I got so busy I just forgot to update <laughs> Um, sitting at the bank right now. I, I, let's see, we've had lunch. Um, I got so busy working on getting the new resource uploaded to my TPT store, which I did get it uploaded. It's the first thing I have gotten uploaded in, I think, two years. Um, I got it uploaded and <laughs> realized that it was like 10 after 2 and Caroline's supposed to be at dance at 3 and she hadn't had lunch and I had I didn't anyway so we rushed through luckily we had leftovers from last night from where she and I went out and so she had leftovers for lunch got her to dance just in time um, I'm at the bank I've got to deliver some color street to some of the girls here at the bank I always deliver on Wednesdays when I take Caroline to dance um, if they need something and so after this, I hope to be able to run to school for at least an hour and get some th things put away. All right, it is July 29th. I have been here all of about three hours this summer <laughs> since the last day of school. I know I'm gonna have to either put up or take home the carpet squares and my rug over there I think I'm gonna take it home I don't have a lot of storage in here so um, I'm only got I'm only here for about an hour today while the kids are busy so I'm gonna work on getting all of these books put away So I didn't get a whole lot, well, I mean, I guess I got a lot done, but I didn't, no longer than I was here. So, okay, I've, 
redoing my classroom in red and black this year. Um, and looking, I need to redo the uh, <laughs> the ABCs up there. Um, they were laminated when I put, before I put them up there. That's why there's a glare on them. I'm not going to laminate the next thing I put up there, but I want something that's just red and black and white. Um, so I guess I'm off to the computer again later to make something new. I, I've, I made those and put them up in my TPT store years ago. And I've been using the glitter, just glitter look in the classroom for years now. So anyway, so here are the books. And being the simple teacher that I am, I had cute little labels that I had bought off TPT on the last ones and I, you know, cut them out, made them work. I don't know why there are bells going off this time of night. Uh, but anyway, so I didn't, I, I decided I'm not doing labels on them because, well, when I change them out, if I move things around, then I have to tear them off and no. These are dry erase. I am using dry erase markers and I am going to write what's in each one. Um, I'm gonna have to go get some more. Have to, we're going to into a bigger town tomorrow to go shopping for school. I'm gonna go to some Dollar Trees and find some more bins. So uh, this over here is uh, where I keep extra supplies and this is all stuff that was left from last year or that I've had for the over the years. So I'm gonna move it over to black and white bins as well. These I'm not gonna replace. I got these through a Dummer's Choose a while back. They're really good and heavy and sturdy. I'm um, not replacing those. I may get some new labels for there. May not, I don't know. Um, let's see. So we got the rug out of here. My mom and stepdad dropped off my son and he's outside. He's not coming in the building. He, kids are not allowed in the building yet. So he helped me get the rug and the carpet squares. I'm just going to take those home and looking around, I realize I need to make new color posters in my new theme. I need to make new um, shape posters. Um, and technically I need, I mean, my calendar fell down. I'm going to have to redo this anyway, but I had made all of the, the months here and everything um if i'm gonna go with my red and black i'm gonna have to redo those there's not enough time in the day so um it's time to go get caroline though from dance so i will either come back later tonight have somebody come over and walk with the kids and i'll come work another hour or two or i may just wait and come back on another day it was hot in here <laughs> it hadn't cooled off yet um i've got i've got so many ideas now that i'm in here to work um a little bit i've got so many ideas and so little time um so i'm going to head out of here for now i don't know if this will be the end of the video of me here in the classroom today or not i guess we'll see all right, first time eating chicken in like six months. Seven, actually. Mm, six or seven. Let's see if yeah, he likes it. Kind of so. It tastes weird. It tastes what? It tastes weird having something so chewy in my mouth. Chicken is chewy. That's what chicken is. I've been eating this fake chicken that's made of plants and stuff. For the past, what, six months? It's also made of cheese. I don't miss it. I really miss steak. <laughs> Stop it. I don't miss it, guys. Alright, so it is supper time. Um, what you doing? I uh, threw together after picking Caroline up some barbecued chicken and yeah, buttery noodles good. and corn on the cob. I am going to let the kids clean the kitchen when I'm done and I'm going to return to school for a few minutes so that I can maybe get a little bit more done. We don't live five minutes from the school and I have an outside door so I can get in. Um, so we're gonna eat. I'm not sure these noodles are real good. I got a different kind that were gluten-free from our um, uh, yogurt store up a few miles, um, a couple, 45 minutes from here. They're egg noodles and 
I don't know if they're gonna be good as buttery noodles. <laughs> We're gonna try them. Maybe we'll put something else on them. We'll see. Okay, back at school for probably an hour is all. Did your school? Well, okay, it's summertime, so I guess I can understand, but do they control the heat and air in your room from central office or wherever? Yeah, they do here. Well, luckily, I can override it for an hour at a time, but only to a certain temperature. I can't imagine having to wear masks in here when there is sun beating down on the outside of this wall because this is an outside wall. And at the end of the day, or the middle of the day, from noon to about three, the sun just beats on that side. Oh, hopefully I can petition them to let me uh, get a couple of extra degrees cooler in here. All right, so I brought with me, um, I had taken a bunch of books home back in March <clears throat> with the intent of creating some TPT units on um, folk tales and fairy tales, things like that. I really want to do that. And then I also took some books home that were on Caroline's reading level for her to read. Um, so I brought those back. I'm going to focus on putting those away um, in all of these uh, bins and totes and their bins up here. Um, and I've got two buckets of books like that. So I'm going to put those up up there and then I'll see what else I've got time for. I probably only got an hour here before it'll start getting dark and I want to get home before dark. So, here we go. Okay, so, not gonna lie, hadn't been here long. Well, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. I don't know. Um, I'm having trouble thinking about how I'm gonna set this up. Um, I mean, this room is like one, two, three, four, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 by 30 maybe. I'm expecting to have 18 probably on my list and I have enough desks and tables for 19 if I only put one or two students at each table can't space them six feet apart I mean a 30 by 30 room nope I mean then that doesn't include I mean, like, that doesn't leave room for my kidney-shaped table or my table that my assistant uses when she's in here. Um, I mean, that's two other areas I need to put, to make <laughs> um, a spot for. Um, rug went home earlier. Carpet squares went home. Don't have to worry about that, so I can space into that area a little bit. But here's where my dilemma falls. We have to seat all the students facing the same direction so like at my tables I can't have one student on each side or facing each other they have to be you know both students facing one direction unless they're six feet apart and none of my tables are six feet long um so do I do it Where like I make them sit facing the board with the I'm probably making y'all sick here sorry do I have them sit facing the board that has the projector? Because, I mean, everything's going to be digital. That can be in first grade. Um, my guess is that's the way I'm going to have them sit, probably, because we'll, we, we will use that board the most, whether it's to get up and do Go Noodle behind your seat or to be watching... Um, the phonics, you know, our phonics series has uh, videos we use each day or whatever. So that is to the side of the room. So you come in my door and that's to the side of my classroom. Okay, there's my outside door. But then my calendar is up here. Now granted, I only use that area for calendar, calendar, bath usually. 
all of this over here on this board is dates, um, homework for them to write in their planners, things like that. So I guess in talking through it, I've talked through the fact that my students probably need to be facing this direction with the tables and desks, which I've never done before. And actually for the past five or six years, maybe longer, my, I've been, my, my tables and, and my desks have always been um, grouped at least four sit to a pod. We call them pods. Um, so I think I thought myself through it and I guess I'm going to start trying to set up facing this direction because part of me feels like in order to get all the desks and tables as far apart as possible, I cannot, I need to do that first before I start trying to find places for everything else like the Chromebook cart. Um, I'm going to leave my, my assistant usually sits right in front of those bookcases. Um, so I'm going to leave her there. I'll put the table back over there for that. Um, because by the time you get a student over there, they're, they're not going to see the board that well anyway from over there. Um, as far as where I put my kidney shaped table, <laughs> who knows, maybe I won't need it this year. I mean, you know, small groups and all. So um, tomorrow I'm taking the kids and going school sh back to school shopping, so I won't be able to get here. I will probably come in a little bit over the weekend in between birthday parties <laughs> and um, finish setting up as much as I possibly can. Um, I, we don't know when we will find out what's going on. I mean, we, we're coming back in person. Some of us will have to teach virtual. Um, depending on your situation, if you are asking to teach virtual, um, will depend on if you come in and teach from your classroom or teach from home. I volunteered to come in if I need to, um, to teach virtually. I want to do it from the school though, because I cannot, I don't have enough internet access to reliably teach <laughs> virtually from home. So once I found out that I could definitely come in, then I was like, yeah, if I need to, I will. Um, I'm gonna get everything set up as if I'm coming in to teach with students because right now that's what I'm planning on. Um, and then if that changes, then I'll just kind of put the desks together, group them together. And my plan would be then to um, kind of clear out the space where the calendar's at and stuff like that so that I can record um, myself doing math lessons, calendar, or um, use Google Meet, set, a, set up the computer to use Google Meet in certain areas of the classroom. So I am done for here for tonight. I've still gotta go home and clean out the refrigerator because tomorrow is not just back to school shopping, but Costco. <laughs> and if you've seen my Costco hauls, they can be pretty big because I only go once every couple of months. So um, I gotta go clean out the refrigerator. <laughs> I'm getting tired. It's almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready. I have the coolers in the car. Because if you watch past videos, you know that we live an hour from Costco. Plus, honestly, we're gonna go to Costco and I'm gonna put the stuff in the cooler that needs to go in the cooler and I'm gonna grab some ice and throw in there. And um, ooh, we're going to karate before we come home. So I have cleaned out, it doesn't look like it, but I have cleaned out the refrigerator. I have cleaned out the freezer. I don't need, where's it at? There it is. I don't need any meat. Oh, oh. Freezer. Let me do it this way. Ugh. Probably can't even see. I don't need meat. Um, all of that is meat down there. <laughs> um, don't need meat, so I'm not, I, I'm, we'll be buying freezer stuff though, because the kids are gonna want pizzas, or um, Wheeler is back to eating meat, praise the Lord. Um, and they love the kale and chicken patties. Um, so, 
this shop though, I'm gonna have to go back to Costco, I'm pretty sure before school starts. Um, but I'm just, I've got it in me that I, I have time tomorrow. So therefore I want to go and um, start the stock up for back to school for, you know, the, oh, bread, for the protein bars, the Nature Valley protein bars and um, things like that that are non-perishable. Um, I don't know. I've just got it in my head. I need to start now. We have a few weeks till school starts, so we may make another quick trip out there at some point. Both the kids have some doctor's appointments out that area coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, plus, I got something in the Costco in the mail today from Costco that said that the Premier Protein drinks are seven dollars off, starting for the case starting um, August the fifth. So I know I'm going to want to go back for that. All right, next. So it's the end of the day, 11.45, and I realized I desperately need to redo my nails. So that's what I'm sitting here doing. I'm gonna put the overlay on here. I threw a filter on here because I'm out of the shower and looking pretty rough. Um, <laughs> so that's a day in my life. Um, it was not an interesting day in the life, really. Pretty boring. Um, probably really haphazardly done i don't know how the um <laughs> final edit of this is gonna go all these pieces put together but um it is what it is a day in the life here towards the end of the summer right before school starts um i will be doing more of this so i'm gonna put this overlay on the top of this nail color and head to bed the kids and I have a big day tomorrow I hope you enjoyed this even though it's a lot of I don't know mismatch <laughs> it was quite a busy day and I uh, hope that you will like and subscribe down at the bottom and I'll see you next time <laughs>